Easter is coming up. And uh, so I thought I'd do a video of the peeps that I make every year. Um, obviously we're closed this year and that's a bit of a bummer, but I still thought I'd make some peeps. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is have uh, sugar to work with. Um, you can get sanding sugar. Um, it's already colored. Um, I have preferences on that. Um, if you, you can see this sanding sugar is like really fine um, as opposed to the sanding sugar which is a little um, larger. I think that when it comes to peeps using the finer stuff works a little better um, but both will work. Um, obviously if you don't want to go out um, I have dyed just plain sugar in the past and So my peeps uh, recipe is my marshmallow recipe, which I also, you know, make marshmallows when I'm doing hot chocolate. Um, I'm just gonna pipe it in the shape of a peep and uh, show you that later. But let's make the marshmallows. Um, I've got half a cup of cold water, and this is uh, powdered, unflavored gelatin. Um, it's gonna be two tablespoons. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. Half a teaspoon. We do two cups of sugar, half a cup of corn syrup, and I like to, that's gonna be a third of a cup of water. I'm gonna add some of it first and kind of mix it together. gonna want to get it off the sides as much as possible. So I'm just gonna rinse my fingers out real quick. And with wet fingers I'm just gonna down the sides. Make sure I get all of the water in there. my candy thermometer and then I'm going to boil this. Put that on high. So while your, uh, your syrup is going, you can start on like a little bit of basically it's meringue. Uh, I've got two egg whites in here. This is um, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And I'm just gonna get this going so that it's nice and foamy. When you are boiling sugar syrup, um, don't stir it. If you stir it, you're gonna agitate it and make crystals, but what you can do is just kind of move it around a bit. Um, be very careful with this, it's very hot. You do want it to cook evenly. Now we are waiting for this to hit softball. Um, I don't really know how accurate this particular thermometer is. 
because it says we're gonna hit softball in like a minute and I just don't think that's true so if you ever doubt your thermometer you can always check it the way that we check our um, um, when we do our meringue uh, sugar syrup and just dip it in the water and see if it forms a softball going to add this sugar gelatin um, very hot mixture to my eggs which are now at a soft peak and I'm gonna put this on high and I'm gonna stream this down the side of the bowl make sure you don't hit the, um, the whisk is they're very very sticky um, so I'm going to spray down the spatula I'm going to use and I'm going to spray down the bag I'm going to use and um, yeah so that I'm all ready to go when I want to pipe um, so I have my sugars in these different bowls and I'm going to pipe little peeps directly into them. Um, I can't remember if I like to use a tip or not when I do these. Because I only do them once a year. Um, but yeah, the important thing is you want to make sure that your, um, your marshmallow is, is pretty stiff and ready to go. Because it's not going to hold its shape otherwise. If you were just making marshmallows, it wouldn't have to be quite as stiff because you'd just pour it into a thing and uh, wait for it to harden up and cut it. Or sometimes I like to pour it into mini marshmallow um, cups, um, but we're not doing that. We actually want to make a shape out of it, so it's got to be really stiff. Okay, um, so the one thing whenever I'm doing this is I get so sticky because there's um, cool. So this is probably there. Might be a little thin still. Um, we're gonna start with this. This is also going to thicken as it cools. And if you just leave it in this bowl, um, it might get a little too thick to use. Whoops. Forgot to get the 
and said my name. So I was dumb of me. Okay. So I'm gonna have this kind of chill in here waiting for me. And I'm gonna have the rest of this. I'm just gonna keep it going um, on my mixer just to make sure it stays moving um, on like a low speed uh, so that it doesn't seize up and set on me because that is not what I want right now. So what I'm going to do is just directly in here, I'm going to squeeze the fur there, and then I'm going to pull it up and give it a little face. Squeeze. Just pull it away. Um, any of those weird blotchy things, like that's going to be a little too long, I'm going to pull that off a little bit to make it a little nicer. So squeeze, let go, squeeze again, let go. I'm just gonna fix these up a little bit. Pull off his little tail, make him a little cuter. Once this is a little stiffer, it's a lot easier to work with. I shouldn't have rushed it earlier. But it also has to be fast enough that it doesn't get weird at the end. So the sugar I'm sprinkling on is just enough that you can touch it and work with it. Uh, and then I'll coat it in the other stuff that's already in the bowl. So our peeps are almost done. Um, I let them hang out for a little while so they could um, kind of firm up a little bit, be a little easier to work with so they don't squish when you try and pick them up. Um, now I'm just gonna make a little piping bag with my parchment. And while I do this, I'm going to melt just some chocolate chips. I'm not gonna worry about tempering the chocolate. Just melt it, it's fine. 
45 seconds. Almost it, but I cut that evenly, so hold it in. Now I'm going to try and remember where I like the eyes. I think off to the side. They go in the front. I think I'm going to go here. And then you have all of your peeps. These are great for, for Easter and totally kosher for Passover too. Now that they changed the rules and we can have corn.